Welcome everybody. We've just finalized another walking stick. Beautiful walking stick uh, of a duck. Did this in uh, a leftover piece of birch. Laminated three pieces together. I don't know if you'd be able to see there. You sort of see where the three lines are. Tried to match the grain pretty well. Carved out this beautiful duck. See if I can get a shot in for you from the front. Put a red liner in for a transition between the top piece and the shaft. Tapered it all down to, um, I think this is a three quarter inch little rubber foot. Quite light weight, but good size. Fits the hand nicely and uh, that grain really popped out. We did a little bit of teak oil and then uh, just a little coating on top to uh, give it that shine and protection. This one came out great. So stay tuned. I'll show you how I uh, laminated all the pieces, sketched out, and uh, pretty much uh, a lot of hand tools and a little bit of the Dremel work to get some of these details, these nice curves in. A lot of sanding too, but uh, stick around. Take a look at that. Let me know in your comments uh, what do you think. And hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.
So we've uh, epoxy just little wooden beads in for the eyes. Drill the center hole because we're going to be putting it on the main stick. So I've got a, uh, I don't know, it's about a three inch long uh, twisted nail. I find that works well. So we're going to put it in here. I have a red liner uh, that I had left over from, uh, what was it? Oh, uh, knife builds. So it's a fiberglass uh, type paper that works well with boxy. So we're going to add that in the center. Then a matching rod. So it's all going to go together like that. And then, of course, we're going to have to thin down the head to match the stick. This is a inch and a quarter diameter here. Uh, so we're going to epoxy that together and then start shaping. Well, we've finished up all the sanding. See all that nice grain popping out. Got the little red liner between the, uh, the two different woods. And we're just about ready to put on a finish. What we're going to be doing is putting on some teak oil. Our standard good finish. It's going to darken up this wood very nicely. It's going to be interesting to see what on the shaft, what color it is. So we're just going to take an old piece of t-shirt and that teak oil. Let's get it so you guys can see. Oh, ho, ho. beautiful. Just fantastic. Great finish.
Let's see what it looks like. Across the two woods. That red liner, of course, pops out. As soon as you put a little finish on there, makes a nice transition. So I'm going to finish putting on the oil, and then we're going to come back and show you how it looks all dried up.